Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. So this podcast in particular today is going to give you some Thanksgiving tips to keep your waistline trim. But on a regular basis, this podcast is going to deliver you daily tactics and strategies to jumpstart your weight loss, even when you're over 40. So from now until the end of the year, what I'm doing with my podcast is I'm going to be giving you daily tips to help you navigate your way through the holidays. This podcast is just a starting point for your weight loss journey. So when you are looking for individualized attention and you're ready to take that next step into losing the weight for good, I want to invite you to schedule a consult with me. You can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. And on our call, you're going to find out what is holding you back from losing the weight for good. And also I'm going to give you step number one for your customized blueprint plan. So the blueprint blueprint plan is a way that when I work together with my clients, that's what we work on and we design for you. And basically it's the plan that is going to take you from where you are today to where you want to be and then how to maintain that for the rest of your life. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and schedule a call. All right. So diving into the topic today, Thanksgiving, it's just around the corner, right? It's going to come up really fast before you know it. And Thanksgiving is known for one of those holidays that you are bound to overeat, right? Ever hear of turkey coma? Well, it is a, it is a thing. <laughs> so, but just understand that you can still enjoy Thanksgiving without feeling stuffed, right? Save the stuffing for the turkey, right? The turkey is the one that wants to be stuffed. All right. So granted one day a year is not going to throw off your weight loss efforts unless you have many quote unquote off days throughout the year. So the problem starts when one holiday runs into the next or you're in COVID and you know, there's a lot of emotions that are coming up and you want to eat a lot of food so you can not feeling those emotions so strong. So that is why I'm doing these podcasts daily is to really kind of help you not have these next couple months turn into just constant eating. And then January rolls around and you're like, what happened? Okay. So today's tip. Um, and also if you've missed the other tips, go back and listen to them. But today's tip is swap out your ingredients. So if you are, you know, thinking about what you're making for Thanksgiving and you're thinking candied yams, which I know is a personal favorite of mine when I grew up, you can actually tweak those recipes a little bit and cut back on some of the things that um, are going to add a little more calories and a little more either salt, it's usually salt, sugar, or some sort of like butter or fat or anything like that. So if you're making candied yams, you can cut back on the butter you know, don't use as much. You can still use regular butter. There's nothing wrong with that. And also with sugar, a lot of times the recipes will call for like a cup of sugar and you probably could get away with even a half a cup, sometimes a three fourths of a cup. And just to kind of make it a little bit more healthier, it still has the same taste. What you want to um, be careful about swapping ingredients with is when you're baking foods, because that's more of like a more of a precise science. Now, I am not a chef by any stretch of imagination, but I do know that. <laughs> so, but if you're making something a little bit um, traditional, like candied yams, you can kind of play with the ingredients a little bit. Um, some desserts, it works really well for though, like pumpkin pie or things like that, that you're making. So you can kind of cut back the sugar. I don't necessarily recommend sugar substitutes because I still think that, um, there's a lot of evidence that is supporting that either your body doesn't know how to metabolize it or it's just not good for us and it probably could be causing cancer who knows but i say go for the real stuff if you're going to go for sugar um same thing with salt if you can kind of back off the salt a little bit uh that will also kind of help you not feel as puffy and as bloated um and kind of make the next day the day after thanksgiving a little bit more enjoyable all right, so that's my tip for you today. Remember, I'm gonna be bringing you these tips every day from now until the end of the year. So make sure you hit subscribe or like whatever channel you're watching this on. 
All right, so I will be back tomorrow with more tactics and strategies to help you jumpstart your weight loss through the holidays. And when you are ready to take that next step and want to work together on designing your weight loss blueprint for life, schedule a consult with me. It's absolutely free. And you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and get on the books today. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow.